Good day, I am Brother Nico from the Brothers Kitchen, and with me today are three grade 5 students from De La Salle Hi everyone, I'm Karnagata. I'm the TNT, and I am Paul Cabral. So, uh, July is when we celebrate our Nutrition Month. So, we do try to remember that we eat healthy foods. So, how about you guys? What healthy foods do you eat? I eat chicken salad. Chicken salad. How about I you, Mateo? Fruits. fruits. Like what kind of fruits? Apples, mangoes, mm, apples bananas. and mangoes. Or different kinds. How about you, Paul? I eat tofu. Tofu. Tofu is actually very healthy foods, very nutritious food. It's actually called a superfood, if I would remember during my culinary class. How about you, brother? What healthy food do you eat? Uh, just like just like Mateo, I like eating fruits. <laughs> I eat a lot of vegetables, but only probably lettuce and potatoes and carrots maybe. But other vegetables, I'm not too fond of it. So today we'll be starting to cook something very special. It's called porcini risotto. All right. So the risotto basically is a rice rice dish, and it's Italian by Nature. Alright, so it comes from Italy. Yes, Mateo. How did you learn this recipe? I learned this recipe actually by watching television. Oh. I, I watch a lot of cooking shows. I, I watch a lot of cooking shows before, and one of the things that they would cook a lot is risotto. And then when I went to culinary school, that's the first thing, that's one of the first things that they taught us how to make risotto. So, yeah, that's how I learned making this recipe. So are you guys ready? Yes. yes. You sure? Yes, yes. brother. Right. So, for us to get started, I want you guys to name the ingredients that we will be using. So this is stock. Flour. Parmesan cheese. Chini mushrooms, bacon, white wine, and this is garlic, this is black pepper, this is onion, this is harborio rice. These are the rock salts. Okay, so we're all ready and we're all set to make our porcini risotto. Now there are several steps as to how or how we can make this risotto, but we will begin first with uh, with the bacon and the mushroom. All right, so first. Get some olive oil. We heat up the pan to high heat. Olive oil. And then, uh, Troy, can I have the, some of the bacon, please? Oh. And, Mateo, I need the wooden spoon. All right. So, we fry first the bacon. Wait for it to sizzle a little. So, actually, we use what kind of mushroom are we using? Porcini mushrooms. Porcini mushroom. So, um, porcini mushrooms actually come from Italy. And did you know that porcini actually stands for, in Italian, piglets? Piglets? So, when you say porcini, it's actually piglets. So the, when you translate it, it's piglet's mushroom. All right. So what we had was, what we had was the dried mushrooms. So what I had to do was to, how do you make something that's dry? You put white wine into it. What? Not white wine, but you put a little water or a liquid. So in this case, I put hot stock, and so I have some of the mushrooms. 
So, I add some of the mushrooms with the bacon and the olive oil. Okay. okay. We'll wait for it to fry until some of the bacon is already golden brown. Okay. So, brother, do you cook this for the brothers or for your family? Actually, just tell you a little story. Uh, with the brothers, I haven't tried cooking this uh, this dish yet. But with my family, when I was in college, I, when I went home from school and I tried I tried uh, cooking something for them. This is what they requested. So it's been a long time. That's uh, what maybe five years ago oh, okay. <laughs> since I last cooked this for my family. But maybe soon for the brothers, I'll be also cooking it. Maybe later, brother Bernie will also taste, and then I can tell that you guys cook this. Would you like me to say that to him? No. Why not? Okay, so there. So we're just waiting this, waiting for this to turn a little brown. And, uh, Mateo, can I have some salt? So we add a little bit of salt just so that some of the Season. flavor of the mushroom and the bacon would be, would be released. Okay. Yeah. Paul, do you have any question for me about the mushrooms? Why do we brush the mushroom with warm water? Yeah. Well, you wanted to we wanted to brush the mushroom with a little bit of warm water. In this case, dried because we wanted to take away some of the dirt maybe that's still there. So, it's very important that we wash or dry. We wash ingredients before we cook them. Cook them. And that's even part of making the food very healthy. Yeah. So, this is almost brown. And once it's a little brown, oh no, once it's brown already, we want to put them aside. But we keep the oil from what we've fried off with. Right? So we keep, we keep the bacon and the mushroom aside. Can you hold the plate? No, no, hold the plate. Oh, yeah. All right. Now we'll be making the risotto, all right? So we've left some of the oil from the mushroom and bacon mixture a while ago that we've set aside. Now, we put just a little bit of oil. We just put, can you put that first? So put just again a little bit of oil and then I would need the onions first. Onions first. some of the onions. <laughs> so, I've already added the onions. Next is some garlic. Okay, so, just, we won't put all of this, but we'll just add some. So, We'll brown and we'll saute some of the onions and garlic first. Then we add the mixture that we did a while ago, which is the bacon, bacon and, and the porcini mushroom. So add this. Okay. Right. So we saute this for a little while again. And then, now we add the rice. rice. Right. So we add the arborio rice. Right. Can you hold that for me? Please? So I'll put around uh, 100 to 150 grams of rice. So, you know that, uh, what do you think is very special about arborio rice? You don't cook it in a... You don't cook it in a rice cooker? Yeah. Well, yeah, that's part of it. But what else? How about you, Mateo? How, how is it different from the rice, normal rice that we have? I don't know. I haven't tasted it. But I'm sure it's good. It's good, actually. But it when you look at it, all. when you observe it, or when you look at the rice, it's actually very... Brown. Not brownish, but hard. it's very... Hard. Hard. <laughs> it's very... It's shorter. If you notice, it's very short. There's, it's a short grain rice. Right? So that's what makes it special because it's a short grain rice. But even if it's short, 
even if it's short, it has a lot of carbohydrates or starch, right? Oh, they're pretty much the same, but short. Yes. Okay. It, but it also is used for risotto. Okay, so make sure when we're cooking risotto, we're uh, stirring it all the time. All right. So we've already added some of the rice. The next is white wine. So, I'll add some of the white wine. Right. Now, the white wine is very important because it adds... Flavor. It adds flavor. Okay. Can you smell it? It smells different. So... Why do you think we're using red, uh, white wine and not red wine? Because there's gonna be... What? They will see the... Okay, precisely because of the color. color. We don't want it to look violet or dark red risotto. So we'll use white wine instead. Okay, so we stir this and we make sure first that it's already a little dry. It means the, the white wine was already cooked off and there is no alcohol already inside. Okay, so we keep on stirring. And then, we add, we add the stock. So, Mateo, can you hand over the ladle? And we, I will be the one. So, we put stock enough to just cover the rice. So, it will become wet again? So that it will become wet again. And again, what's the most important thing? We have to keep on steering it. Steering. Right, so steer and we steer. You know, I, I do have probably not, you cannot say really a best friend, but a really good mentor. I, I have his name is Brother Vince, and he's, he was the one who guided me with the brothers ever since I was in first year college. And it was like, you know, he, he was the one would I would be able to talk to when I have problems. And even until now, you know, that's why I consider him to be very close to me. But I also have a batch mate with me. His name is Brother Chuck. So uh, the two of us were in the same batch. So we're like classmates since five years ago. So we're, we're classmates as brothers. We, we started together and then now we still, we're still studying in La Salta. And we're both actually teaching here in, in Zobel. I'm in grade 5 and he is in grade 4. Where is Brother Vince? Brother Vince is in, in the school in Lepa. He's actually taking care of the young brothers there also. Because he's the one in charge of forming brothers or making new Making new brothers, yeah, that's that's his job. So, and he's very he, he's fond of Batman. His favorite yes. his favorite character is Batman and Joker, and he also likes to use superheroes when he's teaching. So he's very fun, but he's quite he's around fifty years old already. Yeah, but he also likes to cook and he likes to eat a lot. His favorite is inasal, chicken inasal, because he's from Bacolod. Yeah, so I just keep on steering this, okay? Alright, so this is almost finished, but we still need to add one round of stock and 
as I forgot to mention a while ago, some butter. Okay, so we'll do this later. But first, can you, Paul, can you add some final ladle of stock? One more, so that it won't be too dry. So, just share this for the last time until some of the stock already evaporates. Brother, where did yeah. you study before? Yeah, uh, before I actually graduated from the South Green Hills. I studied there from kinder up until I was high school. And then I graduated high school and I went to Enderon College. I took up a uh, hospitality management major in culinary arts. Before entering the Brothers, when I graduated from college, I worked for one year. So I was working as a cook. And prior to that, I had my apprentice or my internship wherein I really worked in a kitchen as a student. And then they also paid me, and that was the best part of it. So I went to the States and had my internship there as a cook. So I was making a lot of pizzas, I was making a lot of uh, pasta, and even risotto. Okay, so, yeah. So we just keep on stirring this until some of the water already evaporates. Now, uh, Paul, can we add some of the butter as well? So just to finish it off, we'll be adding some of the butter. So maybe around four sticks of butter, four, four knobs of butter. So we wait for it to dissolve. And then again, what's the important part? To Mix, stir. keep stirring. Keep on stirring the result. So until the butter melts. And then after once the butter melts, we add the last layer of flavor, which is the Parmesan cheese. Okay. Okay. So it's almost finished. Now, before we add the Parmesan cheese, another important thing when you're cooking, and when you're cooking healthily, you need to make it very flavorful. So, how do you add flavor? You add salt and pepper. It's very important. Therefore, can I have some salt first? Salt. Now, why do you think I'm adding salt before pepper? Because... Why? So Give me an idea. So that the salt can dissolve first. Mm, we're almost near. Because pepper burns That's more. A no, because pepper burns more easily than salt. So if we add, if I add the pepper first, it might get burned and it might be bitter. That's why I add pepper next, just a pinch. One more. So, nice. all right. So we've already seasoned the risotto with salt and pepper, and lastly we add Paul, please the yeah. Parmesan cheese. So we add the Parmesan cheese. Maybe just another handful. Turn off your stove. So finish, stir, and we're now ready to plate this. So, when we're plating risotto, keep your plate on the table. table, okay? Keep it on the table and keep on steering. All right, so. So, when we add the risotto to the plate, your hands, please. Keep away from the pan and then let it Slide, let it flow. Okay. Wow. A sign of a good risotto is when it moves or when it flows. So when it's moving down on its own, it means it's okay. And then you shake it a little bit. Shake until you form a little circle, circle around the plate. All right. So. Once this is done, we'll prepare our garnish. So we put it aside a little. And to finish our, we will be making the Parmesan lace.
All right. So for the last step of our risotto, we'll be making the Parmesan lace garnish. garnish. So basically, we only have two ingredients. Parmesan. The Parmesan and the flour. flour. So what we do is we take the Parmesan and the flour, we mix it together. So take some of the Parmesan and mix it with the flour. Okay. Make sure that the ratio of the Parmesan is more than the flour. So we mix. So the the flour will bind it together because we want to make a very thin lace. So we add a little more grated parmesan. Okay. So once this is mixed, make sure that the pan is heated, well heated. To mid. And once it's ready, we will take a spoonful of the mixture and then make a thin layer on the pan. So what will what this will do is that it will melt the cheese and it will create a sheet, a sheet of cheese or parmesan cheese. Okay. Right. And we'll wait for it to cook a little more. So, brother, when did you join the brotherhood? When did you start being brother? I joined the brothers after graduation from college. So, that was around five years ago. Uh, prior to that, I was already thinking whether I wanted to become a brother or not. So, I was called an aspirant. So, as an aspirant, you tell the brother, a brother, I, want, I think I want to become a brother someday. And then the brother will say, okay, you can be an aspirant. Then after you get your college degree, when you finish your college, the brothers will ask you, oh, do you want to continue the life of the brother? And if you say yes, then you start the process of becoming a brother. Yeah. So, you make sure that the pan is heating and slowly you can see that the starting cheese is starting crisp. to melt. So, it means it's starting to be crispy. So, we will turn this once the other side is already golden brown. We'll wait for it a little. Alright, so some parts of this cheese is already ready. You can already flip some. So I'm using just a spoon and my finger, okay? My pointy finger. So I'll just turn it over and make sure that the other side is being toasted. So there. You see the difference? It got nice. You see the difference? It's already a little golden brown. So the other side also. So there. What inspired you to become a brown? Ah, it inspired me to become a brother. Basically, I think I was in high school when one of my teachers told me um, we should try to change the world. And I was in high school, I was thinking to myself, what will I do to change the world? I was a high school student, I didn't have any money. I mean, at that time, I only had my allowance. So, what can I do to change the world? And then I got to introduce, I got introduced with teaching because in La Salle Green Hills, they had a program for students who wanted to volunteer as teachers. So I would go to the mountains every Saturday to teach in a public school. And then the brothers would join us. And then that's when I got to know the brothers. Alright, so this is almost a little toasted. All right. So, Paul, going back to your question, what really inspired me to become a brother is that I can be. I would be able to teach young people, or just teach, whether inside the classroom or not. So, by doing that, I felt that I could change the world. So, as I tell to myself, okay, I'll try becoming a brother. So, I pursued it even if I thought I wanted to become a chef. So, actually, when my parents asked me, brother, do you want to? Ah, 
why do you want to become a brother? Your what you studied would be a waste. Why did you study culinary arts? Then they were worried for me because they were telling me, ah, how come you won't be able to cook anymore? But what am I doing now? Okay. I'm cooking. I'm cooking in the brother's house. So, so it's not true that it was not true that I would not anymore do what I want. So I was actually doing both things that I was that I wanted to to cook and to teach young children. Okay. So, so this is almost ready. So just a little, maybe a few more seconds, and then we will already set this aside for our garnish. So, so you see, it's a little soft, but once it gets cooler, it will already it will be hardened more and it will be more crispy. But make sure to lay it down as a one layer. Can you smell how toasted it is? Yeah, it's hot. It's hot. Okay. Alright, so we've already finished with our Parmesan lace. All we have to do now is to plate our risotto and then we're ready to cook. Oh, we're ready to eat. Alright, so we finished with cooking our risotto. Now we just have to plate it. So there are two garnishes. First, the, so the what's this? Parmesan lace. Parmesan lace. So we'll take one, we'll choose one of the best ones. We'll add the one that has a little bit of height. Height. Okay. Now this is the fun stuff because you get to really try to art or put art into it. And then, the second is a fresh thyme leaf or stem. So just a little, just to add a little flavor. color. Alright, we'll choose the good ones. Ah, okay, there. So, so this is our final product. The porcini mushroom risotto with parmesan lace. So, I will let you guys try the risotto. So, Paul, you go first, okay? All right, so we already have your food, but what do we need to do first? Pray. Pray? All right. May I lead the prayer? Yes, Paul, you may lead us in prayer. Let us all remember that we are in the most holy presence of God, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bless us, O Lord, and this is your gifts, your which are about to receive from you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. St. John Baptist, let us pray for us. Jesus Forever. And Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Moment of truth. Let's it's the try and must. taste. Good luck to us. All right. <gasps> How do you find it? How do you find it, Paul? <laughs> How would you rate it, Paul? Give, give me a from 1 to 20. 20 being the perfect. How would you rate the uh, risotto? Let's go ahead. 20? How about you? 20 million. <laughs> How about you, Mateo? From 60 billion, 495,000. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Alright. 20, 100 billion, billion, billion. Mm. Uh, What do you enjoy about being a brother? What do I enjoy most? I enjoy the most about being a brother when. I am in the school. I am in the school with not only with the students but the teachers, the staff, some of the staff, 
because you get to uh, you get to be a brother to brother them. So you. I'm not just a friend. I'm just not a friend, but also a brother to them. So it's very different, to Paul. When you experience like ah, uh, brother is brother is not like a father or he's not intimidating. So that's what I want to be. That's what I enjoy the most when I become a brother to other people. Alright, so there it is. There's our Porcini risotto. Did everyone enjoy? Yes, brother. Yes. Right. Thank, thank, thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes. Thank you. We did well. Okay? Thank you. <laughs> so that has been the cooking episode of Porcini risotto with me, brother Nico, in the Brothers Kitchen. If you wish to follow my account, you can follow me on Facebook, Nico Mariano FSC. And please subscribe also to Zoob Media on YouTube or follow also the official webpage of DLSZ in, on Facebook. Uh, we hope to see you soon in more episodes of Cooking with Bro to Come. Thank you very much. Have a good day, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.